we're going to be making our own sumo salt and pepper shakers we're going to need plastic bottles uh we're going to need some paint to paint the bottles up we'll need some scissors we'll need a marker some tape and a paint brush of course to paint it right so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to just draw around the circumference of my bottle and i'm just going to draw along the edge I'm going to draw one more line the same way I did here. So basically I'm going to just dispose of this middle section. I'm going to use this bottom part and this top part. If you don't have a skin tone, I can tell you how to make it and if you have a skin tone then go ahead and start painting your bottles up. it's a very neutral skin tone very reddish uh mildly yellow so i just mix some red some white and some yellow to get this color i'm going to be puncturing holes into this bottle and it's going to be really noisy so this is what the body of my first shaker looks like i haven't taped it up entirely yet you will need to tape up the bottom half and the top half Okay, so the next step after kind of um, getting the skin done would be to kind of uh, draw um, the sumo shorts. Um, you can make them white, you can make them black, however you want it. Uh, I'm keeping the white and the black as color codes for salt and pepper. What it should look like. See, there's a waistband going around, and then it's going down and over under. Looks like a pair of shorts. It's going down, and now we're at the back. This is what mine's looking like. Okay, so the next step for me is going to be to get the hair done. So I'm gonna get some black, and I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down. So I'm just marking out the hairline of my sumo wrestler. like i've done half the back of my head of my sumo sumo wrestler right now cool so this is the back of his head and this is the front right now I'm drawing the face the first layer is kind of dried off i'm just going to go over my brush uh fill in all the white spots that might that have missed out or have kind of resurfaced for some reason i'm just adding in some details I'm also filling up spaces wherever required This is what mine is looking like. So the next and the last step is going to be once it entirely dries up and you're done entirely painting it, you're going to make holes on top on your bottle cap. You're going to unscrew it. You're going to make a few holes. You can use a needle for that. Um, if you have mom or dad, dad around, that would be great because then you won't hurt yourself. You know, we'll ask them to help you, and you can come up with the small holes and then you can use it as a shaker. How cool is that? 